everybody, welcome back to Art with Miss Amadi. Today, we are going to be learning how to create a two-point perspective city. So let's get started. You are going to need an eraser, sharpener, a black pen or a marker, pencil, a ruler, and an A4 paper to work on. We are going to start this by drawing a frame around our work. On the width of the page, I am just going to draw a two centimeter border around both sides. This ruler is actually one of my favorites to work with. The clear rulers it really helps you to see exactly what it is you're drawing. And for my length of the page, I'm going to go for a one centimeter border. This is so that my page stays as a landscape. All right, now that we have our border done, we are ready to draw. Now, as usual, the first thing we draw in a one point or two point perspective drawing is we need to find our horizontal line. So we're going to draw a nice horizontal line somewhere on the top part of our page. Make sure that it is parallel. This is the key word for all point perspective drawings. I'm going to draw my line nice and lightly across. Please remember that all constructive lines have to be very light. I'm just going to put down my left vanishing point and my right vanishing point. This does not have to be too accurate, it could be somewhere towards the edge. Okay, so the first thing we are going to draw is the height of our building. This is going to be kind of like the corner of the building itself. So I'm going to place my ruler down. And then make sure that, of course, it's parallel with the edge of my page and the other lines and draw a line down. Just going to draw a line down to 10 centimeters. I'll have a little height above my horizontal line and work across. So on the right side, this is going to join the right vanishing point, just like we've done on the smaller building that we've created or the block house in the previous video and the corners on the left side will join the left vanishing point so i'm just going to join the last point and there we go the next thing we are going to do is we're going to find the over the end of the building basically so what I'm going to do is just place my ruler, go across. This could be a rough if you'd like to. Just make sure that your lines are parallel. Shift your ruler. Make sure it's straight and draw your line down. I did not measure this, but to make sure that it's accurate, of course, you can go ahead and measure the overall width of the building and make sure that you apply that to the same side so it was around four and a half just going to put my ruler on my vertical line and draw the line across by shifting the ruler and there we go we have one building done you can go ahead and erase the horizontal line that cuts through the building this is exactly why we need to keep our pencil lines light it is so that when you want to erase your work, you won't find it difficult to get rid of the pencil lines. So we're going to now draw the kind of the overall pathway that sits right underneath the building. So you're going to draw a line down. It doesn't have to be too accurate. Two centimeters, fine. Join each corner into the vanishing point you'll be able to cross over and meet that one point you can erase this line now so that it looks like it's a curb that goes around the building we're going to add depth to this so we're going to extend the line down a little bit more just slightly it could be a one centimeter or even half a centimeter down so that we can add some depth to it i'm going to do one centimeter and from that point 
we are going to join that into the vanishing point again. And then with a light pencil line, I'm going to do the same on the other side. And there we go. I will continue this by drawing out the street. So this could be at random or you can measure it out if you'd like to. Just leave some space and draw a line down. So if you want to make it a little accurate, you can draw a line. Measure the space over here, so that was exactly 8 centimeters. That's pretty accurate. And dot that out and join it into your left vanishing point, so you have an accurate depiction of the street. Erase this line. What I am going to show you next is to draw the next building. We're going to start with making this building a little bit shorter. So just like drawing a window or a door, we are going to find the overall width of the building that I'd like to do. It's going to be a smaller building. So I'm going to keep this at maybe three centimeters. Place my ruler, making sure that the line, the vertical line that I'm going to draw is going to be parallel and draw my line up. This building is going to be three centimeters tall. So I'm now going to join that top corner into the vanishing point so I know when my building is going to end. Erase the horizontal line that crosses over my building there we go. The next building, of course, will join across right next to it, so we won't have to leave any gaps or anything. We'll just place my ruler and draw. Let's make this building a little bit taller. So it'll be seven centimeters down. And of course, same method, join that into the vanishing point. And then find my overall ending of the building. So I'm just going to erase this as I go so we don't get confused. And now we're ready to find the overall width of my building. I'm just going to place my ruler making sure that it is parallel, draw my line down, and there we go. Now it might get a little bit tricky when we have a building and we want to determine the side. All we need to do is join the top corner into the left vanishing point. I'm just going to draw this line across. I'm not going to go across the other buildings, but you can see that now we have that side of the building or the left side of the building. I'm going to end this building a little bit, so I'm just going to place my ruler, making sure it's parallel, and draw my line down so that we can see a definite end to the building or width to the building. Alright, now we're going to work on the other side. I'm just going to erase this because we no longer need this constructive line. We have three buildings. Let's actually add a little balcony to this one over here, a little glass balcony. All you have to do is measure out the overall height of the glass balcony that you'd like to do. I'll just do 0.5 centimeters and join that little dot into the vanishing point so that you can create some sort of a balcony that goes on top. That looks much better. All right, so this side is done. Let's move on to the left side. We are going to create a building that has a little bit of an alleyway in between the two buildings. 
So rather than the right side where all our buildings are stuck together, we're going to leave some space. So I'm just going to dot out the space that I would like to leave between my building. We could do one centimeter, two centimeters, whatever it is. And I'm going to firstly draw my height of the building. So I'm just going to draw the building maybe four centimeters upwards. Of course, again, making sure it's parallel. Draw my line down. So that top corner is going to join into the left vanishing point. And we can find the end to that side of the building, the face of the building to the left. Now we're going to join this into the vanishing point, the right one, and that point into the vanishing point as well, so that we can see a definite side to the building. Instead of drawing a line across the whole building, I'm just going to draw it so that it reaches the building closest to it and stop there. And there we go. We have a little bit of an alleyway between two buildings. I'm just going to erase this constructive line. And now we are ready for details. I actually erased off my horizontal lines, so I'm just going to place my ruler and redraw these horizontal lines. It's nice to have this drawn at the very end, make sure that it's still there so that it looks like our buildings are on a surface. So there we go. We are ready to create details on our buildings, doors. We all know how to do this. I will zoom through this and show you the final product. All I did was keep in mind of the overall height, join that into the vanishing point, and slowly worked my way into creating details that would determine the overall aspect of my buildings with their designs. Some buildings I am going to add bigger doors, some buildings taller windows, maybe a billboard, but let's zoom through this and get to the final result.
All right, so the next thing we're going to do is create some road lines so that our street could look a little bit more accurate. All we're going to do is point out maybe one centimeter over here, then one centimeter on the other side as well. We're of course going to join these dots into the vanishing point. I'm just going to edit it a little bit making sure that it is straight and then go for the same thing on the other side so i'm just going to mark out one centimeter just double checking if it's accurate now all we're going to do is join both of these into the left vanishing point and of course the one on the right side of the street is going to join the right vanishing point of course my work is upside down that is why this is actually the left right now and there we go we're going to split this so this might get a little tricky but this is going to make your work look very accurate the left side is going to join the right vanishing point so in order for us to create the accurate spacing, we're going to just join that into the right vanishing point. So I'm going to dot it out, move my ruler. It's just, I'm doing this at random, so you can do it at random as well. And I'm just going to finish this up and do the same exact thing on the right side of the street you can go ahead and erase the spacing that you don't need you can start to see how accurately drawn your work is and there we go we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side and it actually looks like our lines are going off into the distance that's exactly what we'd like to see it becomes smaller towards the end that is why that's the whole point of this whole project our perspective towards when it goes towards the end of the vanishing point all the objects that we see is going to be smaller so i'm just going to finish this up and then we can move on into outlining our work All right, how good does this look? We've completed our detailings on the building and on the street. We, of course, are now ready to outline our work. You can use a ballpoint pen or a, a marker. I use this type of micro marker for, because it's just very light and it doesn't smudge as often. So I'm just going to place my ruler and start outlining my entire work. We'll zoom through this so that we can have a look at the work all outlined.
I'm just erasing my work, getting rid of all the pencil lines that I can see so that we are ready to have a nice clean slate to start shading our work in. Of course, you don't have to. This next step is optional. It looks nice to have our work shaded in. It looks a little bit more realistic, but our overall work should be fine, just outlined like this. There we go. We have our completed work. Um, while I was outlining, I actually smudged my work a little bit at the bottom. That was because my ruler got a little bit dirty and it picked up the ink and smudged onto my work. But it's okay. You can always, um, you know, try your best to clean your ruler and work neatly. I'm just going to add the title Two Point Perspective City. You can add the date, your name, and your class as well, but there we have it, our overall work completed. And like I said, the next step of shading your work could be completely optional. I went through shading my work using, of course, the side of my pencil, observing darker areas, and working my way across. The end of the building would always be darker, then slowly working my way lightly across to the other side of the building. I of course continued this across everything that I've done and here is the final result of my shaded in work. I hope you all learned something new today. Please understand that practice does make perfect when it comes to point perspective drawings in general. So even if you don't get it right the first time around, it is okay. The next time you attempt this work, you are going to get better and better at it. So hope you enjoyed this video. See you all on the next one. Mm -hmm.